Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks for joining me. I want to talk uh, to you today about MacGuffins. MacGuffins are reasons or excuses for doing something. And in the context of today's program, they are reasons or excuses for you to stay in touch with your prospective clients. Now, of course, marketing has a couple of different components to it. You know, first of all, we have to get prospective clients to raise their hand and express that initial interest uh, in us. And then secondly, of course, we need to stay in touch with them because from a practical standpoint, those of us that are uh, selling uh, any kind of high value service, the odds that your client or your prospective client is going to need your services right at the moment when they raise their hand, well, you know, it's nice when it happens, but it's relatively rare. So we need to stay in touch and we need some different MacGuffins or reasons or excuses to do that. Now, what you can do, I guess, falls into two different camps. There's programmed and then there's individual. Programmed are things like what you're watching now, you know, blogs, uh, videos that you send out on a, on a regular basis. Great way to stay in touch with people. But many times you want to do something that's much more individualized. You want to have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with a uh, prospective client. And so the question becomes exactly how do I do that? Well, the answer again lies in content. And I hope you're producing content on a regular basis. And it could be a podcast, it could be an article, it could be a white paper, it could be a book. Any of those are fine. But all of them, give you a reason or excuse to reach out to very specific people and you know, invite them on your podcast. Ask them if they'd be willing to be interviewed for your white paper or your book. And what I have found is that people will generally say yes. Uh, it's, you know, there's, there's an ego reason here. People, you know, love the fact that someone else is coming to them and saying, hey, I think you've got an interesting perspective. Uh, I think you've got some interesting ideas and I would like to incorporate them into the content that I'm producing. So you'll find that people will tend to say yes far more often than they will say no. And not only does this enrich the content that you're producing, but it also, as I say, provides a wonderful reason, excuse, MacGuffin, to, uh, to, stay, uh, to stay in touch and, and reconnect with, uh, with people. So give that some thought, give that a try, and uh, when the next time you're producing content, don't just do it kind of sitting down and thinking about what do I know. Think about who uh, might be someone that I should be reaching out to whose perspective would be, uh, would be interesting and helpful to the readers of my content, as well as in terms of my own relationship building efforts. So, hope that uh, gave you some good food for thought. Uh, naturally, if you are focused on the affluent market and you have a reasonable budget for marketing, you know, perhaps we should talk. And uh, if you think that would be of interest, there's a button at the bottom of this page to facilitate that. But regardless, I do want to thank you for being a part of my community. And until we do have a chance to speak personally, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.